Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I am super excited about talking about because I get asked this question all the time, is how I get my hair styled the way I do. And whether it is somebody with a hair piece or it is just a regular client. So I wanna to talk to you about first my new hair. Um, this is my new hair piece. It's from Wig Pro. It's the same one I've been getting. It's a petite cap. Now not everyone needs a petite cap but it's a petite cap and it's the Alexandra all hand tied in color number four. So typically when I get my hair piece, I do like to do a color gloss on it to richen it a little bit and add some shine. But this one I was actually okay with. Not all of them are the same when they come in as far as color goes. They're very similar, but you know, they're handmade. So they're all just a little bit different. So I wanna get started. So when I first get this and it comes in the mail and I take it out of the box, I'm not gonna lie, it is just, not very pretty at all. And you're like, God, what am I supposed to do with this thing? So I always, and if you guys watched my last video that I did, I explained all the shampoos, conditioners, products, and everything that I use on my hair. So you can go back and watch that and my tape and glue that I use. So I put it on my head, wash in the shower with my shampoo and conditioner. And then when I come out, I love this paddle brush. It's so old, but I use this thing and I will comb it and dry it, just this front section. And there are no bangs in this when it comes in. The bangs are about down to here. So um, I get those dry so I can mold it into the way that I want it. And I put on my heat protectants and then I will let it dry just naturally. I feel like when you use a blow dryer, um, at least on this hair, it really just kind of opens up the cuticle and makes it really fluffy. So I like to just let it air dry and that's less heat on it. Um, so then when I put it on the next day, and I cut in my bangs. Um, I just really like bangs on me, but you don't have to have bangs. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some couple little tips. Um, I do not want you cutting your own bangs, but at least this will help you um, to tell your stylist maybe what you want. And definitely don't cut them on a hair piece because it doesn't grow back. So um, I typically, my rule of thumb is that for anybody, when you put the comb down and where it bends right there, is as much bangs as you should have. Everyone's face shape is different, everyone's hairline is different, but that's typically the rule of thumb that I use, so you have the right amount. Um, I mean, there are exceptions. Some people like those really cool, like really thick bangs, and you know, you can tweak it however you want. But this one, I wanted to do a little differently. So when I pull that down, and these are all long, I like to use a razor, because it's softer instead of scissors, and I just grab little pieces, and I just, just kind of slice them down like that. Um, and then I just kind of framed in this a little bit more with the razor. And again, not everyone wants to use a razor because not everyone's hair texture is good for it. So you want to consult with your stylist with that as well. Um, and please don't cut your own bangs. I'm just talking about what I did because I am a cosmetologist. But um, so, and the cool thing about these bangs is I really like that I can kind of make them a little to the side if I want, some different looks. Um, I really like that versatility and I'll curl my hair sometimes too. Um, I like to change it up a lot. But that is what I do as far as styling it. And then once it's dry the next day too, I will use my um, Carmen Professional Flat Iron. And I really like this one. There's temperature settings. Uh, this hair kind of needs it on a higher setting because it is thicker and coarser. But somebody with fine hair do not put it on the highest setting at all because um, that will not be good for your hair. Um, so that is basically it. I suggest that you start off with a synthetic wig. If you're new to this and you just want to try it, do not spend the money on one of these. They are very hard to style in a way. I tell a lot of my clients, look, you know, you don't need to wash it every week. So bring it in. I will style it for you on your head and then you'll have it for a couple weeks and then they're good to go. But they're definitely more work, but I like to kind of use heat on my hair and change it up and synthetic wigs you cannot use heat on but they're a good starting point to see if that is a look that you want if it's a style that you want and um go from there so i hope that this helped you guys out i'm really excited about doing this video and showing you my new hair um it's you know really fun to change it up sometimes i typically like to do a lot of different things with my hair so i you know they don't last me quite as long as other people, but that's just me because I'm a stylist. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave comments below, and like me on Instagram. Follow me. Thanks.